Greetings, this is Metatron. Metatron, thank you for coming. It is my pleasure. How can uh, I help you? Thank you. I was um, uh, just struck by the idea that uh, Christianity had some extraterrestrial origins and uh, and I was struck by it maybe last night, 24 hours ago or something. And um, it kind of grew in me and it, look, look, it seems pretty a pretty interesting um, <clears throat> possibilities there. So one of the ideas was that um, uh, suppose the, uh, the Jesus story, the Yeshua story was on earth, but then it was transformed into a religion and became an imperial religion for the Romans. And the imperial idea I think comes from Orion. So maybe maybe uh, that is one of the origins of the religion. Maybe there was some Orion influence there. Well, Orions were certainly involved. There was many different species of all involved, but God was the one that was most involved. Uh, bringing, he wanted to find a way to change the people's thought processes. And so he sent someone that could do that. His he called him his son. However, his son was also on many other planets and did the very same thing in many cultures and many species and appeared differently in de many different worlds. Uh, so, of course, there would be some alien influence, even in your Old Testament with Ezekiel and Elijah and many of the prophets were also Enoch. Uh, those kinds of people were, had extraterrestrial influence. Right. Um, uh, so one of the main puzzles in um, studying history of Christianity is that the Events in uh, in that time uh, were really well documented. You know, people know the taxes of many people involved, like Ponti, 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 Pontius Pilatus and, uh, Pontius, and others, Pilate. Pontius Pilate and uh, and uh, and others. Uh, you know, they are well studied, and uh, there was no mention of um, of the events of. But did these events happen on Earth, or was it in a different planet or timeline? No, they happened on Earth. It had to happen on Earth for the Earth history to be changed. If it had somewhere else happened, Earth's history would have not changed at all. Um, but, you know, we have for, for, for Greeks, we have the legends that came from elsewhere, for sure. Yes, but that also changed the Earth in some ways because there was always truth to some le uh, to the legends there's always truth to the mythology in some ways it may not be a hundred percent true but there is those leading pieces of information that are true and that is what influences mankind or the populace of that time I would disagree. I think many legends came from the galaxy. I mean, our, our um, of course. mythology, you know, is full. I mythology mean, did come from the galaxy. Uh huh. So I'm not saying mm -hmm. that it didn't, but they came to Earth to bring that information. It did right. come from the galaxy. There, you think that there was actually people, uh, gods that were Zeus and. Athena and all those, whatever. Uh, do you actually think they existed? Well, they did, but they weren't gods. They were aliens. Uh huh. Were they on uh, on which planet did that happen? That happened on Earth. Ah. What makes you think that they happened outside of Earth? I know that there are many uh, wars that were fought on Earth from above. Um and using the planet as a shield, etc. But it was not that those were reported by your people, except that they uh, saw these things coming to Earth, perhaps in some of the ancient books of your Bibles or 
the Sanskrit or or whatever it is uh, that you have printed of these wars, they d were not uh, given credit to aliens. They were given credit to God or to prophets or whatever. But you know, the people did not know of anything outside of their world. So they had to put it in perspective in their own minds. And for those creatures outside the earth to have that much power, they must be gods. Right, so right. That's I mean, they were written about. They were written about as gods, but they were not gods. Yeah, but you know, the Greek Greek uh, gods were pretty, uh, pretty much like aliens. I mean, they were aliens. They, uh, they, uh, they didn't do much for humans they just live their own lives and uh, if they and influence humans it was through direct actions exactly mm -hmm. that's correct um so the greeks um they seem like to be an, an alien civilization where from did the, the greeks come the greeks come from uh, different parts of the universe but uh -huh. they came together as a culture this was a community. This was not just one species. This uh -huh. was a, a, a series or a group of species that had uh, intellect and culture and certain belief systems that they wanted to uh, bring to different areas of the universe. And this was one area where they stopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so where what, what culture? One, it was not just one species, but it was a few different ones that had an a an effect on the culture. So, what was the name of that culture? Well, the, they were called the Golden Culture. Huh. Um, they called themselves the Golden Culture, culture mm -hmm. but they they were made up of Fendorians. Uh, Octorians, Syrians, uh, and even there was some um, a Sasani in there. Mm -hmm. But they were called the Golden Culture by they they termed themselves the Golden Culture. Wow! So um, they you know they are called Hellenistic culture in in uh, in, in on Earth and. Um, uh, what, 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 do you know the reason why Hellenistic, why Helen? Because beauty was something that could influence people. Uh -huh. And Helen, Helen was a beautiful, beautiful person, a beautiful uh -huh. being. And so attaching beauty to what they had to say was very attractive to the people. Was Helen on earth or was it uh, brought from, uh, from outside? From outside. So was Helen uh, a real person? Yes, she was a real being and she was in human eyes, one of the most perfect of all beings. Uh huh. So I, I, I like to look at uh, Greek uh, uh, ceramics, Greek paintings on the ceramics. It's, um, it's very unusual. Uh, it, uh, it's sort of wasn't incorporated in, in, in our culture completely. It was a, it stood alone and um, it's different. It is. I wonder from where from this art come, came. They brought it with them. They were artists, mm -hmm. writers, uh, philosophers, magicians, uh -huh. Uh -huh. intellects, uh, anthropologists. They were a higher form of a colony than those that usually travel. But they brought themselves together in the purpose of enlightening uh, the universe. They are, as far as I know, still doing that in some ways, but not around your planet, but many, many galaxies away. Wow. So um, the Orions, uh, so the, the empire, the Roman Empire and um, Byzantine Empire, they were built on, I think, the Orion principles. 
And um, I think the Aryans came from Orion and they also brought that, uh, that culture. Is, is it right? Yes and no, yes. I see, uh huh. So there I'm just, just... Great, there's a great number of things that go into a culture. Mm -hmm. uh, there are Orions in the Roman culture, there are Orions in the um, Greek culture, there's Orions mm -hmm. in the Egyptian culture, there's Orions in the uh, Incan and in the Mayan cultures and the wow. Aztec cultures. So you see Orions of many different places around the planet. Uh-huh. So how did, uh, I mean, so the, the story of Jesus was, uh, uh, was uh, happened first and then some centuries later, about four centuries later, um, if, if the timing is correct, uh, that became into a, a religion which created a new type of uh, government and ultimately it created the, the Christianity all over the globe. It was um, actually the Gospels were starting to be written 200 years after Jesus passed. Right. But they were not finished immediately, of course. So the effects did not start in until about 400 years after his uh, birth. But, you know, my, uh, my thought is uh, that uh, creating an empire has uh, very little to do with uh, the teaching of Jesus. It, um, I think it was something additional added, like a second component, which was um, merged with the idea of resurrection and uh, and the celebration of um, uh, Christmas. I mean, I was I was thinking about Christmas that it's a much more ancient tradition than that Christianity. It's uh, it's the birth of the of the rebirth, the idea of the rebirth, and uh, it's actually, actually it's the idea of, of reincarnation and, re and rebirth. Yes, they've and, taken so many symbols from other places to make Christmas happen that it's, uh -huh. it's impure in its presentation. Christmas is not about Christmas trees or it is about uh, the 25th of December or any of those things. Those were all added for convenience and for to give the, it a landmark, to give it some uh, something so they could base their uh, belief systems on, but all much of it's faulty. I think 25th of December has some uh, physical meaning because uh, it's, it's a few days after the solstice and it is the side, that's the, where the, the rebirth of the year happens. Yes, but that's, that is not when Christ was born. Right, so that's what I'm saying, that um, is that... Uh, but yes, they did, they take it, take it in that from an old hedonistic belief system. Uh -huh. And because of the solstice and the three days after and all these different things, or, or I'm not sure what the, it is exactly, but it is that there are hedonistic cultures that name the 25th, as a resurrection day for an ancient God that is not Jesus. But it, so they used it because it could be used in uh, the same way. So yeah, that, that idea, right. That idea also brings me to the idea that many other planets have, uh, have the same, yes. have same, same mythology. Yeah, of course, yes. So it might have come also from outside of Earth. I, it absolutely, many parts of it did, yes. So Jesus just plugged in uh, his physical... Uh, well, he lived his life. History. Humanity plugged in all those other parts. Jesus was just himself. He lived his life, preached his sermons, healed the sick, moved from place to place, to uh, bring the understanding that God was alive and that God was doing something new and different in this culture. But humanity took it on themselves to bring all these things 
in into a relationship with his birth. I see. Uh -huh. And with his death. So they it is not that he did anything. He just lived his life and did what he had to do. And God blessed his life and made it uh, made it unbelievable in many ways and and people are still uh, saying that he wasn't poor, uh, didn't die on a cross or he did die on a cross. The, the, the thing is, it, it changed humanity. It changed the way uh, people thought about God, it changed the way that people thought about themselves because they felt that they could be saved now that God was able to manifest himself in a way in human flesh. All right. So uh, now we, we are uh, trapped in the, in the problems of, uh, of the global empire, uh, which is built on, on the Christian ideas. But it, yes. it, um, it created, uh, I, I'm, spe I'm speaking to people, uh, how do I say, unawakened people. We call them unawakened. Of I speak to unawakened people, and I'm trying to figure out why they are so trapped. And uh, apparently they are trapped, uh, not by their choice, but uh, it's, it's um, a very convenient place to be trapped. And uh, I'm trying to connect the, the transformation of Christianity that happened. Um, well, many, uh, let, me t let me tell you something. Many feel like their free will has been taken away. And they're trapped within belief systems that they have to follow or else society or family or whoever it is around them will change their opinion of them. And so therefore, they are trapped conveniently, but yet some of them are trapped uh, tragically into this pattern because they are afraid to get out of it. Right, so I'm trying to disassemble this trap. And uh, interestingly, it's not only Christians that are trapped. I'm looking Correct. at um, uh, Jews, Correct. and some of them are religious Jews, and some of them are uh, completely non-religious, and they're still trapped in their thinking. And also I'm looking at Indians and modern Indians with their uh, Hinduism and uh, transformed with uh, Western American kind of lifestyle, it's also gives them the same trap. So it's, it's more like universal, you know, it's not. You have to understand, they were brought up all their life to believe what they believe. And many of the people around them are keeping them in that belief system, whether they want to stay there. And many of them are afraid to look outside of that belief system for any kind of truth, because they were told this is the truth and that this cannot be disputed but yet it can be disputed it just isn't all right so 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 i'm trying to disassemble this trap and uh, one of that is fear of death people many people really believe that there is only one life there is nothing after even if they're christians they still serve or jews they still sort of doubt the idea of the afterlife I see. It and, is unfortunate because energy never dies. It's right. logical. Right. And um, I, 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 it was broad. I mean, the, the, it looks like the original Christianity had the reincarnation just fine. Jesus mentioned that yes. uh, uh, he, is, he was the reincarnation of, I don't remember who, but maybe Elijah or someone else. The, um, they were saying... They were forecasting or uh, thinking that John the Baptist was the reincarnation of Elijah. Oh, here you go. So, so that was a, the idea of reincarnation, but then it was intentionally banned from Christianity. Correct. And, and then as a consequence, it was banned from the culture of the modern culture. Correct. And um, so that's one of the biggest fears, like the, the, the idea that you live only once is trapping you in a huge way people are afraid of death it's a tragedy and the second trap is the trap of the sin uh, so people are I'm looking at the animals and uh, even animals have an idea of sin 
uh, I look at the horses and, and dogs, they still have an idea of being, being guilty. That is because it's, they were taught that way. Right. But you think so? You know, there is, yes. Bad dog, bad dog. The, the sound of your voice tells them if they're doing right or wrong. If you talk to them very kindly, they, they, they respond very uh, to that. If the, you talk to them negatively, they will respond to that. So you can train animals by what you believe. So they can be trained. Now, if you live, leave them untrained, they will just be wild and they will not know the difference between right and wrong. You are the one that teaches them that way. Now, the thing is about, they do know their families. They do know that it's wrong to do certain things within the family unit, but that is instinctive. Instinct is different than right and wrong. I would question that. I think uh, maybe that the human ideas are spilling over to um, pack animals like wolves, wolf pack. I would, I would, and bear pack. I would think bear family. I think they would bear, bear. They, I think they would still have some sort of uh, rel similar relationships to humans. You know, I'm looking at yes, animals they do now. Treat their children kindly. They do love their children. Of course they do, and but is that right or wrong? Uh, love is just something that exists. It is a way to uh, treat your family or not, but they don't look at it as right or wrong. Some, some of the bear families will actually be violent to their own family, just as, your, uh, just as humans would be, but I don't think they look at it the same way. So, um, now asking the question about extraterrestrial origins. Is this idea of um, uh, materialism and um, no of absence of afterlife, is it coming from Orion? Did they have the same? No. What happened is um, because Orion is now not materialistic at all in some ways. But the thing is, every culture, every species goes through its different growing periods. And one of those growing periods is greed. And they have to grow through it. And that's how these kinds of things, these cultures exist, is out of greed and out of uh, selfishness. So what's they have to learn to rise above it. And you are, your people are rising above it now or trying to. Did greed come from Orion? Greed comes from everywhere. Um, are some other like um, other greys greedy? Some of them. Mm -hmm. Did the money system, where from did the money system come? It looks like it was imprinted pretty strongly and it was very developed already. Did it come from some sort, some place? It's, it started with barter, but then it became shells. Some kinds of shells were more beautiful than others, and so they started using shells as a form of money. And then they started uh, saying, well, we need to make it more legal because uh, some of these shells are not as good as others, and yet they're trying to say they are. So we have to make things equal. So they had to bring it into a system. So as time went on, money became a, a just an, an evolution of barter. Uh, was the gold um, used outside of Earth as money? Yes, and gold is used outside of Earth for many other things. It's a reflector for heat. It's, it has magic properties that you know nothing about as yet. It no, is in your human body. There is gold around the heart in very small amounts. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Yes, I know. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I ran out of time, but that's, um, I think that topic is, um, is uh, promising. We should explore it. Uh, yes, deeper. we should explore it more. I think it would be enjoyable. 
All right. Thank you very much. I invite your uh, ending. Uh, <laughs> I invite your blessing for the finish. Yes. Tira sanzuri a kara randu arunai. Ian gay wan tourishum vera be chujaboni. Matara kuria pacham shalom sheria bas. Matutia senzi. Sila fangevo sofuri corta cashin to the yavanzi. Genote for shunzuri. Shuti a sanzi vasanda da. Muhonda. Sanzi zazavanda. Quare rea on zishevo adunai kua. Kua hands. Nashinzi VSI, Natur Vandar and Zavia Shanzi Pochum, Turivisi Kakare Anduka, Yeshua Shemzi Sas, Yishinzi Si Zavonzi, Sasa Sunzi Kushi, Nototura. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. You too. Hello. Hey, Jim. Welcome back. Oh. Time is 10.34. Oh, okay. Very good. <laughs>